Dennis Siplenkov uploaded an Instagram story and a video on Arm Olymp YouTube channel updating Core Sports, Don Idris, and all of the arm wrestling fans about the reasons why he is cancelling the Hermes Gasparini super match, which was supposed to happen at King of the Table 11 on June 1st. He didn't use the word cancel, but instead he said he's postponing the match because of his medical issues. So the doctors had already advised Dennis to go through complete hip replacement surgery. But he thought that the treatments that he's been getting, the physical therapy, I think he got some PRP treatment as well. He thought that that is going to be enough for him to continue at least until this Hermes Gasparini match. And then he can think about the hip replacement surgery. But things did not go as Dennis planned. He's been having some health issues that he's been dealing with for quite some time now. And the hip replacement is a must and it needs to happen now. These are the reasons why Dennis postponed this match. We don't know the date when Dennis is going to come back. But a quick Google search tells you that hip replacement surgery usually requires about three to four weeks of rest time until you can start recovery process. And maybe in less than three months, Dennis will be back to the shape that he's currently at. So who can be the replacement for Aramis Gasparini? Core Sports and King of the Table owner Don Idris mentioned that he will either look for a replacement match or look for Denis Siplenkov's replacement for the Hermes match if it is possible. But we can guess some of the opponents that may be interested. The first name that comes to everyone's mind is Alex Kordecha. He was already prepared for the Georgi Svetkov match. He came clean through that match. There wasn't any fatigue or anything like that. And then he had a good practice with Devin Larratt. So on match day, he can be in a really, really good shape. Plus, despite already having defeated Hermes 6-0, I believe Kordecha is the one who needs to prove himself once again just because of the things that Hermes has done in the past. Hermes and many other arm wrestling fans believe that Kordecha has no chance in this match, I think it will be an awesome opportunity to prove everyone wrong. Artyom Morozov is already defending his left arm world title against Ivan Matushenko on the same card. Maybe Core Sports can convince him to get a right-handed match as well. If there is someone who can compete on both arms, then Morozov is the guy and he can make this match interesting. But I think it will be too much to ask from the young Terminator. Coming back to the Denis Siplenkov topic. I was one of the guys who was constantly criticizing this match and I always thought that it would have been much better at least for me as a fan if this match never happened. And looks like the pressure from the fans is definitely one of the reasons why Dennis postponed this match. I know health reason is one of the biggest reasons but Nobody can deny that the pressure from the fans and in fact Dennis also believing that he cannot defeat Hermes is also a part of the reason why this match is not happening. Because I believe that it's a common understanding that unless you have some commitment which is going to prevent you to be present at the place on the day of the competition, until that happens you must have a reason to believe that you're not the favorite going into this match. Or at least there is a possibility that you cannot win. If you are 100% sure, then you wouldn't cancel the match. It will never happen irrespective of the injuries, irrespective of the health issues. And I think that's partly also the reason why Devon Lerett cancelled the Dadikian match. That's also the reason why RVJ cancelled the Jerome Loud super match. Not the complete reason, but a small part of the reasons. And I truly believe that this decision is going to be a blessing for Dennis. If the Arm Olymp team is watching this video, I think you must forget about Hermes Gasparini as of now. Get Dennis healed up as soon as possible. And the next match should be Dave Chafee. If Dennis is able to go through Dave, then the next match should be Monster Michael Todd. And after that, Jerry Cadret. And these three matches are also so serious that Dennis can either win all three of them or I won't be surprised if he loses all three of them. That's how close the level is. And after that, maybe he should think about Aramis Gasparini, but this should be the progression for the Russian monster. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe.